the servant of God appears in some key chapters in the second part of the book. Actually, the servant of God appears all over the place in the book, but particularly in key chapters that have been labeled and separated out sometimes even as texts about the suffering servant of God. I think you should not make that separation from the rest of the book where the servant is Israel. But still, here are chapters in which a servant is called to a particular mission and ministry that has been very significant for the ongoing understanding of, of, of the work of God in the world in, among both Jews and Christians. The fourth one of those is the text we read regularly on Good Friday, uh, bruised for our iniquities, and thus, of course, the Christian tradition has applied that to Jesus. It has already its own Old Testament meaning. And uh, who's the servant in Isaiah? Uh, the prophet, Israel, uh, Cyrus, some would say, uh, all kinds of answers to that question, none of which can be finally determined. The role of the servant is to do God's work of ministry uh, that is commissioned through to Israel. The New Testament proclaims that that work of God given to Israel is now fully realized in Jesus of Nazareth, and thus the church proclaims those texts to point to Jesus.